Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday, which was Veterans Day. Today is Friday, November 12th, 2021, and it is a day three. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. It's a good way to get yourself settled and to allow yourself to really, uh, you know, uh, Take, you know, make some sense out of the challenges of the day, but not get too carried away, okay, about it. Remember, you don't want to get too worked up about what happened five minutes ago or even yesterday or last week because that was the past. It's already happened. Nothing we can do to change it. And this is everything in the future, which we never are sure about, okay? The only thing you have any control about is the here and the now. So let's go ahead and savor the here and the now. But before we begin, I have somebody special with me. She's having a little bit of a hard time going to sleep. So who is this? What's your name? Audrey. Can you say it nice and loud? Audrey. Audrey. How old are you? Three. Three. Can you show me three fingers? You got it? Yeah. All right. Good job. High five. All right, so Audrey's going to be doing the breathing techniques with us, right? Okay, now before we do that, let's just use our eyes and look around our room and find something that just catches your eyes, okay? Grade, grade. What's that? The What's, grade. Oh, yeah, but let's look around. Find something that your eyes thinks is interesting. Look at it, identify what it is, notice the colors, you know, things like that. What are you looking at, Audrey? The clothes on the chair? Is that it? No? The chair? Oh, okay. Okay, now, with your ears, just stop and just listen. What do you hear? Do you hear anything? Do you hear a buzzing? Yeah. And with your skin, what do you feel? What do you feel? Do you feel anything on your skin? Do you feel your clothes? Do you feel your blankets? Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, with your nose, take a breath in. Oh, what do you feel? What do you smell? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and settle in. Yeah. What's that? You smell the air? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do two different breathing techniques. Audrey is going to do the flower. Can you show us? Smell the flower and blow the candle. Now, I'm going to do the hot cocoa method because I promised somebody in, kin uh, in first grade that I would do that. All right, so settle in, allow your body to just sink into your chair, and then I like to close my eyes. Let's go ahead and take that first breath. Go ahead and smell the flower, Audrey. Breathe in, and then slowly blow out. Blow your candle, Audrey. Breathe in, smell your candle. I'm smelling my hot chocolate. Fill your belly full of air, and then slowly blow it out. Blow and cool that hot chocolate. Very good. I blowed it. You blowed it. Let's go ahead and breathe in again. Feel that cool air going in through your nose, and then as you breathe out, allow your shoulders to relax, allow your body to settle into your chair. Ready to breathe in again? Breathe in. And breathe out. Boys and girls, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. Breathe in again. Smell your flower. What color flower do you have? What color are you? My candle smells like flowers. Your candle smells like flowers. Okay. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do three more really good breaths, boys and girls. Can you do three more good ones? Here we go. Breathe in. Smell your flower. And blow out that hot cocoa or your candle. Good job, Audrey. I can hear you breathing out. Breathe in one more time, boys and girls. Make it count. Breathe in. A big breath. And breathe out. Audrey, can you do one more good one? Here we go. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
Very good. Now, in just a moment, keep your eyes closed. You'll hear a bell or chime. Listen to it as, as it gets quieter and quieter. Let's sit up and keep your eyes. And when you can't hear it anymore, then you can open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort, where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, it's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand on your left chest. Yep, good job, just like that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, you can go ahead and take a seat. Audrey, you did an awesome job. I wanna remind us, all of us, that we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, show that you're respectful to yourself as well as to others. Respect your teachers. Listen to them. When you guys were in the cafeteria yesterday, you guys were so respectful to me as I played the banjo. A lot of you guys seem to like it, and I'm only going to pull it out every so often, but when I do, you guys need to be at a level one, and all of you guys really worked on it. You guys did awesome. Really proud of you. Um, also, be respectful to yourself. You want to do things that make yourself proud. You know, are you doing the right things even when nobody else is looking? And at the end of the day, you know you did the right thing. And then you can give yourself a nice little pat on the back and say that you're proud of yourself. Also, show that you are responsible. Responsible with your hands. Audrey, can you show us every your hands? You want to show us your hands? Yeah. Our hands should be helpful. They should be doing helpful things and not hurtful things. Can you show us your feet? Yep, here are her feet, right? And our feet, we need to do responsible things, not hurtful things. And then the words that come out of our mouths, can you show us your mouth? Audrey, can you show us your mouth? And words come out of our mouth. We want to use helpful words and not hurtful words, right? Okay, and finally show that you are ready, ready to learn. Don't give up. Boys and girls, don't give up. I know that sometimes things are hard. Sometimes you don't want to do it. But guess what? Every time you don't quit and you put yourself through, trying to work through it, you don't have to be perfect, you're showing that you are ready to learn. And also, our character trait of this month is citizenship. Yesterday, we had a lot of veterans who were in the Army or the Navy or the Marines or the Coast Guard or the Air Force. And a lot of them were regular people just like you and me and then they decided when they were old enough that they wanted to go and serve our country as soldiers as sailors as airmen as guardsmen right and it's really important for us to make sure not only do we thank them but we also take care of the society that they're trying to protect the soldiers are, are, are protecting you're part of our you guys are citizens in our uh, society. What can you do to make our world better? I know that all of those veterans yes, yeah, who visited us yesterday uh, as, as soldiers and, and continue to be uh, when they're not soldiers uh, and, and, and members of the military, they continue to try to make our community better. What are you doing? And anything that you're doing to make Fort Seller better, anything you're doing to make Pennsylvania better, Elko better, or even our country better. You, Whenever you do that, you're showing good citizenship. Last but not least, and you need to hear it from somebody who loves you, and that's me. I love you just the way you are. Audrey, can you tell everybody, I say, I love you. I love you. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Yeah, just the way you are. Boys and girls, yesterday uh, there was a couple boys and girls who told me that they love me just the way I was. And that made me feel so good. And I also saw boys and girls telling each other in the lunchroom that they liked each other just the way they are. Gave each other hugs. And, well, you know, that's awesome. I really, really love that. I'm, and I know that it's not just happening in the lunchroom. I know it's happening in the classrooms. I challenge you to keep 
up that challenge. Find somebody, tell them you love them just the way they are. It's going to make them feel great, but it's also going to make you feel amazing. I can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing Friday. Audrey, you want to sit up and wave? Wave. Sit up. Sit up. Give everyone a nice little big smile. Let me see your cool smile. And wave. Ha say, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Bye. Bye. All right.